State legislators just wrapped up a special session this weekend. It was called to address COVID-19. Lawmakers approved a slate of bills making way for rolled back restrictions, and they also passed one allowing school board elections to become partisan races. WAT 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel spent the day getting in touch with Knox County Board of Education members and joins us here now in the studio with their reaction tonight. Elizabeth. That is right, Bo. I reached out to every member of Knox County School Board. I spoke with two of them today who told me they are not in favor of this legislation. That is clearly a different stance than most state lawmakers with the measure passing in both the House and the Senate. I don't feel like it is a partisan issue. I feel like personally on the school board, I look at every issue and try to make the decision that I think is the best for the students of Knox County Schools. To bring in those ideologies into our local school board is going to cause people to um, not look for movement for the wrong reasons, right? We're going to care more about what we believe about a person's other beliefs than what they're actually trying to do on the school board for kids. Two Knox County Board of Education members are not throwing their support behind a recent bill addressing school board elections. Details about what was passed came today from Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally. It is a permissive legislation, but they will be partisan uh, races uh, so the people will know uh, the party uh, that's behind each and every candidate. Uh, or if it's an independent, they'll know they're an independent person. Knox County's Republican Party chair told me, quote, Once Governor Bill Lee signs the bill into law, I will immediately file a letter with the Knox County Board of Elections adding school board races to the upcoming Republican primary. His Democratic counterpart sending along this statement, quote, My plan is to discuss our options with KCDP's board and our current elected officials, including the school board members who identify as Democrats. Then we will make a decision collectively as the party, not a unilateral decision from me. And Knox County Board Chair Christy Christie was not available for an interview today, but she did respond to my inquiry. She wrote that her focus is on the students of Knox County Schools, finding the best superintendent and making sure students continue to improve academically. Lori. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. And at last check, this bill awaits the House Speaker's signature. Then it will be sent to Governor Lee. Of course, we'll keep following this. We'll let you know how it progresses.